Whether it be a nuclear strike, famine, or even an Ebola breakout, when the food shortages run deep, the only way to survive is to prepare in advance. Today we're going to be taking a look at Ebola, what it is, what it does, how it affects the body, how it's transmitted, precautions you need to take, and how you can stay away from contracting this horrific disease and spreading it. The disease spreads from human to human or animal to human. It can also be in tainted meat. The major facets of how this disease spreads really is the greater area type transportation, trains, uh, planes mainly. That's how Texas got an infection as well as Washington due to these travelers going from airport to airport being infected and really not knowing so. So how does Ebola really affect the body? Well, Ebola will get into the bloodstream and it will infect you very quickly. It will uh, infect the cells that line the blood vessels, but it does not infect the special cells that surround the supporting blood vessels themselves. The connective tissues produce collagen and reticular fibers. Because the blood and lymph node clot when directly exposed to collagen, this is a release tissue factor. It damages to the FRC cells exposed to the collagen and the, the connective tissue. And the result is a continuous clotting until the factors reach a point to where the blood itself cannot control the clotting and is completely depleted. This is when the cellular level starts breaking down a little bit more with the blood vessels and you start seeing blood coming out of the eyes, the ears, the horses, um, out of the urethra. And uh, some patients will actually develop bumps and swellings of tissues and uh, edemias throughout so it can look like a zombie type appearance if um, this disease isn't managed quickly and maintained the problem is is well people really aren't identified quick enough to really have a positive effect so they could become normalized uh, it takes special training and special equipment to give them the proper treatment needed and it needs to be done as quickly as possible otherwise death may just ensue even though the risk for us here in the United States and a lot of the other countries is at a minimum you still need to basically have good hygiene whenever you're dealing with someone that's ill you want to make sure that you don't eat from their same pork uh, you can have other diseases spread just by doing that. You want to make sure that you have proper protective clothing available so in case of something should happen, and it doesn't necessarily have to be Ebola, it can be a different disease, say the measles, which is more contagious than Ebola, but Ebola has such a higher level of death associated with it and the way that it breaks your body down as we just saw within the video and keeping yourself protected with isolation as if you were dealing with electricity you need special suits and equipment get professional training one of the other points the last topics is the hypothesis ebola i believe it to be a man-made virus i believe it was meant for a biological weapon although the u.s government and other governments around the world really are going to deny such uh, capacity because of the anti-biological statutes in place through the UN. It's still a relevant and possible scenario. Everyone's supposed to be getting rid of their nuclear warheads. Still hasn't been done, has it? Please like and subscribe. Thank you for watching.